The new Premier League season is upon us and DSTV here in Africa gives you the best coverage. They cover every single match of the Premier League season. Now the problem is that it has a very small dish so if your signal for any reason goes down a little bit um, you might have a wrong experience. So in this video I will show you how uh, my dish that I installed 8 months ago uh, lost a little bit of signal and how I was able to really really adjust it and get the best signal ready Whoa. for the new Premier League season. You ready? Let's jump into it. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Deport. I am so excited for this one. Eight months ago, I installed this DSTV dish by myself. Uh, maybe I have previous ex experience about installing satellite, but this thing is so easy. And then make sure you watch to the end because I have like three bonuses that I will show at the end of this video. Make sure you watch to the end. If you like this video, why not click on that subscribe button right now and turn the notification bell icon to get some good videos like this. Now, uh, the major challenge I had here was to get a constant power supply to power my decoder dish, uh, my decoder and my monitor. So the first thing I tried was in the evening because of the poor weather in the day. So in the evening when the weather was good, I came out and used my battery, my car battery to connect uh, straight to the decoder and I used my laptop and uh, HDMI capture card to connect uh, uh, the modem, the decoder and uh, the laptop to have a feedback of the signal. So, but it had a problem because my OBS studio was just stuck showing just one thing. And then when I realized it was too late. So the following day, I have to go and bring my inverter to have steady power supply and then bring out the TV and the decoder to be able to connect it to see my signal. Once you can see your signal outside and you're close to the dish, then you're good to go. So once you have a steady power source, the next thing is how to track the dish signal. So um, there is elevation of dish up and down of a dish, and then there is azimuth left and right. So what I do is that I have to lose the head of the dish to be able to have a free movement of the up and down of the elevation and then the azimuth. So you move a little bit to the, a little bit of the azimuth, you go up and down, up and down, a little bit of the azimuth, up and down, up and down, a little bit of the azimuth, up and down. And in doing that, it's a patient walk, but you just do that, you'll be able to see signal quickly. So now that everything is set, I'm gonna go up. My monitor is set. This is my feedback to this dish. The modem is set. The LMB is good. The wire is good. The TV is gonna give me a signal. Uh, it's about raining, about raining. So, we really need to be fast. So this is the patient part, you know. If you're not patient, you can actually even track Sigma in the first place. So that's, that's that. So you just go, just bit by bit. You, you, do, you do small shift left or right. You go up, up, a little bit up. You come down. So you have to be patient here because you might actually begin to doubt yourself, <laughs> doubt your modem, doubt your LMB, doubt everything. <laughs> the signal at all. It's a poor weather, so it's going to be difficult on a poor weather. Um, I'm tracking, I'm tracking in this poor weather because I've had experience with this at all, but if, if it is uh, me to advise you, just make sure you track when the weather is clear. Usually in Port Harcourt, it's the rains like every day, coupled with poor weather. So that's why I'm doing it now because the next minute night to start raining and I was actually being interrupted by rain in the morning. So let me quickly track this and then uh, get out of your way. It's it's more challenging because I'm actually on a ladder, so I'm not standing on the floor. So sometimes my leg is a bit painful, but yeah, it's part of the thing. Yeah, since signal. I'm seeing signal on this. So I've just seen signal. You can hear it. I'm seeing 70 something. So let me see what I can get. I'm seeing 75. I'm going to try to lock this elevation. So you see, I moved it now while I'm trying to lock the elevation. Then it went off. But I'm not going to worry because. I've gotten a good elevation. Yeah, the head of the dish is well, is well and fine. So what I have to do is to move a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, you see now I'm at 72. 
quality is 50. Uh, I'm going to move it a little bit again. 74, quality is kind of 70. So I'm going to move it gently again. Okay, my quality is now 75, signal strength is 78. And we have a very poor weather. <laughs> so that means this can actually improve. Okay, I'm getting 79 and quality 77. <laughs> so you see, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not that difficult. So, so that's, that's part of the, <laughs> the challenge here. So now that I've got signal, it will be time to, to boost, to really, really boost the signal. So we are still 79, 77. So what I'm going to try to do is to see whether I can improve. Yeah, I can see I'm getting 80 signal, 77. So I'm going to move again, see whether it can get better or worse. 79, 76. So I think I've gotten to the best point. Okay, so I'm back to 80 signal and 78. So what I'm going to do now is to start locking this place. You lock it gently. One side, you lock it gently like you, you tight one side, you tight the other. Because it rains, it rains a lot in, in my city, so I'm still going to check. Yeah, I'm still on my 80 signal, which is great on this poor weather. And then 77 in the quality, which is perfect for a very, it's still breezing a little bit. So put that in consideration. So I'm going to still lock this place. I'm going to try to set the polarization. So for some of you who don't understand what polarization means, Polarization is the way this um, LMB is facing is actually should be vertical for a BSTV dish from Nigeria here, which is a 36, 36 degree east uh, on Intelsat. So, but you can actually adjust the between three o'clock, um, between three o'clock and nine o'clock. That's where this uh, connector will face. So each way uh, you can tweak a little bit to know whether you can get any increase in signal or in quality uh, by just adjusting that uh, LMB polarization, which is vertical for for this dish. My quality was um, was seventy was seventy six at at um, eight o'clock. Thinking it climbed up one torch. Let's see. Now it's down to 75 quality. So let me raise it up again. Whoa. My quality is 80. I think I'm going to lock it at 9 o'clock. So my quality is 80. My signal is 80 at that tweak. So I moved from 8 o'clock. Uh, to nine o'clock so i think i'm good yeah so that's it i'll make sure you just subscribe you know this is a technical channel where we try to do everything technical you know um just make sure everything is tight very tight like that lmb i have to tight it that lmb uh, would have to tight it very well uh, the dishes the azimuth elevation well tighted and that's it mm. So here's the bonus point. Once your dish is set and your signal is locked, tie the elevation very well and take a mark on that uh, elevation so that if you lose your way, you will find a way to find your elevation and you are only moving the azimuth left or right. You are not moving the elevation again. It makes it easy for you to find your way back to getting the right signal easily. Then here is the second bonus here so i'm gonna recrimp the outside cable and then this is the one that was inside now the problem with this one is the fact that you know it can actually slack you know slack after a while so this this uh i really don't fancy this one 
Now, why I'm going to use this one is that if you look closely, this one has a screw inside. And if I could roll more of this cable and this uh, conducting element here, it's going to give me a better contact. So it's going to roll on it as a screw. And not just this one doesn't have any screw inside. It's just flat. So this can, you know, slick out, slide out a little bit after strong wind and other things. So that's another bonus tip. Uh, stuff so make sure that nothing no cable is touching this positive side so once you able to force this guy in you already have a screw like pattern so you just start screwing it it becomes very very thin and we're still a little distance away and it has an insulator between these two places so this this guy is of better quality so if you're looking for a connector you, you might just want to look for this type so yeah i think we are good now and cut it so this is rule of thumb so it's also always interesting if you can you know scratch out this place to make the quality of the contact to be great so this is the extra bonus oh this thing helps your signal so i'm going to cut this ones off to keep everything neat so, so first, what most people miss is the LMB cover. So that's one thing I want to do. Most people don't realize that this thing can actually help your dish to work well. You know, you just plug this thing in and it's working well. So now we have it done. We're going to use this one to still plug in. Nothing, nothing absolutely wrong will happen. So I'm done uh, with the LMB ceiling and lock. This is very, very important. Very, very important. So I'm just going to go back and put the LMB because LMB does not LMB have a static setting, so it's not going to change its setting or orientation because of me touching it. <coughs> so just need to go put this back. okay we are good and that's it so i'm going to not apply pressure on this on this uh, cable roll it around this this will actually avoid wind you know your your dish will be stable against wind so you keep another one straight down like this just two on this side is enough. So then the next one will be at the back. Well, we can apply some grit here. Now, whatever that comes from there, you definitely cannot touch the dish. So that's it. We are good. We are done. Hope you enjoyed that. Coming inside, let's check the signal. Uh, there could be a three to five or six percent drop uh, because of the length of the cable from outside to the inside, but we should watch out for the signal quality. Uh, it is the same 80, uh, it's about six degrees drop, which is fair enough. But let's see the result of this. Now it's raining heavily again today. Uh, in my city, it rains a lot here. It's strong, it's been like this for the past 15 minutes. And what impressed me most about this work that we did together is that why it's raining heavily here uh, up to 15 minutes I'm still able to watch uh, my DSTV with 70% signal <laughs> strength and 86% signal quality that is amazing so make sure you get the best signal keep your LMB connection watertight with tape and put the LMB uh, cover and you will enjoy your DSTV this rainy season subscribe I'll see you